Rightio, so today we've got the Hellfire Thermal Camera Bracket Mobile Wild Game Innovation Australia. One of our very popular brackets. It's very light and weight, very easy to fit, guys. It works extremely well on this light. The balance that you can achieve with the spotlight handles is um, world class, really. So the brackets come with a built in DC converter so that you can power your camera while you're going, which will keep you in the hunt all night. You don't have to worry about batteries going flat when you find that big animal that you're going after. You simply hook your power and earth wires up off a 12 or 24 volt system. Um, refer to our YouTube video on wiring up our converters. And we'll also have a North YouTube video on fitting your quick custom made quick release mount to the bracket. So we've got different ranges to cover all the thermal cameras out there so that's all balanced and the camera sits in the right spot. So we're just gonna run you through mounting the bracket. You don't have to pull this light off your spotlight handle. All you've got to do guys is loosen off your bulb on your spotlight handle. And to achieve balance with this system, you need to slide your light right in that way, up against the post. Nip him up. And then when you fit your bracket, the bracket comes with shim washers. There's two 1mm shim washers and 2.5mm shim washers. And that's to achieve the right beam. So basically with this here light guys, it one 1mm washer gives you the correct beam with the thermal camera bracket. But we have um, incorporated a few more in case it's yours is different. So to fit the bracket, it's very simple. You just pull your glove holder out. And if you're first time fitting this bracket, what you need to do is apply your thermal camera bracket. Like so. And then when you're out, start and take the shim washers that with you that come in the kit. And when you get out in the dark in the vehicle, simply adjust your, your beam till it's correct. Until you're happy with it where you want your beam. And then once you get your beam set, just say your beam set like that, you then put your shim washers in there and work out how many shim washers to fill that gap. And once you work that out, you simply pull your bracket off. Not your bracket, sorry, your globe holder out. And you apply your shim washers on the inside. Doesn't matter which side they go on. You simply do your glove holder up. And away you go. So you also got three mil Allen key screws here guys to adjust your angle of your thermal camera in proportion of your spotlight. So you can set that where you want. So if you want your camera to scan the paddock and just keep your light down on the ground more. So you're not waving your light across the paddock moving the animals, you can set it for that however you want. It's a great system guys, it's thermal camera and spotlight working hand in hand, especially with our bracket to keep you powered up all night and without adding any extra weight to your spotlight handle. So basically all these fundamentals go over the centre of the ball in your spotlight handle and the weight is, is centred over that so you can't feel the extra added weight on your arm because it's all centred and balanced. And when you've got a universal QR mount, guys, if you put the camera on there and it's falling backwards, that means you've got to slide the camera forwards a bit. And if it's falling forwards, that means you've got to slide the camera back and you just simply get it set so that the light wants to stay upright and it's all centered over the ball. Rightio, guys. Any questions, give us a call anytime. Thank you.